did you get into esports? Because there wasn't like esports already is kind of this amoeba thing. So how did you say like, oh, I want to be a psychologist, but for esports players? Yeah, that's a good question. It really started in, in postdoc. I remember I was talking to the student and we we're just chopping up after a session. I was like asking him like, oh, what are you doing after this? You know, what are you doing after this meeting? Where are you going? He goes, oh, I'm going to go to this esports thing. A and student I, that you were working mm -hmm. with. And he said, oh, I'm going to esports thing. And I said, nope we're going to the esports thing and then i followed him to the meeting jim huntley was there and he's like you're an adult what are you doing here and i said <laughs> hey my name is ryan and i'm an e i'm doing my postdoc in psychology here working with students and i think i could better your, your students as a team or help them better manage their schedule or whatever so they can play and he's like awesome go <laughs> try what titles do you play? And I said, oh, I play like Heroes of the Storm and like League. And he's like, okay, cool. Here's our league team. Go try. After I started working with their league team, I basically fell in love with it. I loved how we could use games to help them in school or be a better person or be a better teammate. And I was like, wow, this is so fun. How can I do more of this? Basically after that, I just hopped right into amateur and collegiate some more and then no. just kept going. When you say you hopped into amateur, <laughs> like what does that mean? Okay. Maybe hopped in is not the word. Maybe the word is I stocked a bunch of teams and a bunch of different players and I basically begged them to let me work with them. Like, hey, my name is Ryan. This is what I do. I'm an esports psychologist or I'm a psychologist and I want to work in esports. Can I please let me work with your team? Mm -hmm. And you were doing this for free. <laughs> for free, dude. I couldn't like for a while, a month maybe up to a year I, I could not give my services away like i i tried to tell people like well, what i wanted to do and how i could help them and everyone would be like mm, yeah that sounds okay but no or nah at one point i was just for like five dollars like ten dollars for an hour I'll work with you and we'll do these things are you down they'd be like eh nah but then found some teams shout out to conviction that was my first amateur team i ever got to work with and then after that was arizona state university shout out to you and the boys was really able to work with these different organizations and colleges and really you know build my own system and, and understand what it was actually like to to work in esports and it was really fun 